Hi, Primary 5, how are you today? I am Miss Hadir, your math teacher. Our lesson today is dividing decimals by 10, 100, and 1000. Let's start. To divide any decimal number by 10, first you have to remove the decimal point to the left. To the left. Here, we are going to move the decimal point one place to the left. We have 3.14 divided 10. Okay, count one digit to the left, then put the decimal point. It will be 0 0.314. Another one. To dividing a decimal by 100, you have to move the decimal point to the left. How many digits? Two digits, okay? Okay, but we have here one digit only on the left. Put cover zeros. Put cover zeros to move the decimal point. Then it will be 0 0.0314. Another exercise. Dividing decimal by 1000. Again, to divide any decimal number, move the decimal point to the left according to zeros okay divided 1000 how many zeros we have three zeros so we are going to move the decimal point three decimal places to the left okay but we have here one digit only on the left side so you have to put cover zeros to move the decimal point the answer will be 0 0.00314 have you got it? So easy. Okay. Okay, as we have studied before, multiplying decimal numbers. If you multiply decimal numbers by 10 or 100 or 1000, you are going to move the decimal point to the right. Okay, but if we want to divide the decimal numbers by 10, 100, or 1000, you are going to move the decimal point to the left. So, multiplying right, decimal, left. Okay? Okay. We have here an exercise. 12,345.6 divided 10. Here, Divided 10. So move the decimal point. How many digits? Only one digit to the left according to zeros. We have here one zero only. Move to the left one digit only. The answer will be 1234.56. Another exercise. The same number divided 100. Okay. Move the decimal point. How many digits? Two digits, right or left? Of course, left, because it's division, okay? And the answer will be 123.456. Another exercise. 1.41 divided 10. We have here 10. So, we are going to move the decimal point to the left, one digit only. The answer will be... 0 0.141 again 1.41 divided 100 we have here two zeros so move the point how many digits excellent two digits to the left and the answer will be 0 0.0141 another one 1.41 divided 1000 we have here three zeros so you have to put cover zeros on the left side okay to move the decimal point and it will be 0 0.00141 okay 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 remember that the units of measurements the first one to know the measuring units of length is kilometer 
meter, decimeter, centimeter, and millimeter. We have studied before to convert from bigger unit to smaller unit, we are going to multiply. But if you want to convert from smaller unit to bigger unit, you are going to divide, okay? Let's see. From kilometer to meters, time 1000. And from meter to decimeter, times 10. Then all of them by 10. From deci to centi times 10. From centimeter to millimeter times 10. But if you want to convert from small unit to bigger unit, divide like that. From millimeter to centimeter, divided 10. From centimeter to decimeter, divided 10. From decimeter to meter, divided 10. And from meter to, ki to kilometers, divided 1000. Excellent. Okay. The second type of measuring units of area of length is area. Okay? Okay. We have here kilometer square, meter square, decimeter square, centimeter square, and millimeter square. As we said before, to convert from bigger unit, smaller unit, multiply. And from smaller unit to bigger unit, divide. Okay? We have here kilometer square, so we are going to double zeros. To double zeros. 1000 will be 1 million and 10 will be 100. Okay? Double zeros. Okay? From kilometer square to meter square, 1 million. And all of them multiply 100. Again, again. Okay, units of measuring weight. We have units of measuring weight that 10 kilogram and gram. From 10 to kilogram by 1000 and from kilogram to gram by 1000. Okay, okay, okay. If you want to, to convert from kilogram to gram, from gram to kilogram, we are going to divide, okay? divide 1000 and from kilogram to 10 divide also 1000 okay time time what are the units of measuring time we have weeks days hours minutes and seconds to convert from weeks to days how many days in the week seven days so to convert from weeks to days multiply seven from day to hours by 24, from hour to minute times 60, from minutes to seconds times 60. Okay, okay. And the last one here is capacity. Do you remember capacity and the units of measuring capacity? We have two units, liter and milliliter. Liter is the same unit of cubic decimeter and milliliter is the same cubic centimeters okay to convert from liter to milliliter multiply 1000 but if we convert to mil from milliliter to liter divided 1000 okay 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 if we want to approximate any unit of measurements it means we are going to approximate to the nearest unit and don't forget that. Okay. We have here exercise. 5,987 gram to the nearest kilogram. Okay. I want to here approximate this unit to the nearest kilogram. That means to the nearest unit. But we have different units, so we are going first to convert from gram to kilogram, then approximate to the nearest unit. Okay, let's start. From gram to kilogram, we are going to convert from smaller unit to bigger unit. So it will be multiply or divide. Excellent, it will be divide. Divided what? Divided 1000, as we said before. Okay. To divide 1000, we are going to move the decimal point from the right side to the left side. 
how many digits? Three digits. And the answer is 5.987. Okay, excellent. Now, approximate this number to the nearest unit. Where the unit? Unit here is five, okay. Let's look. What is the digit in front of five? Is nine, nine here. Is a weak number or a strong number? Of course, it's a strong number. So we'll give five bucks and add one more to five. And five will be six. And the answer is six kilograms. Have you got it? Again, 3.45 meter to the nearest centimeter. Okay, to the nearest centimeter, it means to the nearest unit, to the nearest unit. But we have here different units, so we have two steps. The first step, convert from meter to centimeter. We are going to convert from bigger unit to smaller unit. Time or divide, of course, multiply. Multiply by 100. Excellent, okay. Move the point to the right or to the left? Of course, to the right. How many digits? Two digits. And the answer is 345, okay. Approximate it to the nearest unit. Where is the unit here? Unit is five, okay. But we have no digits. So, it will be the same, 345. Okay, another one. 2,345 milliliter to the nearest liter. From milliliter to the nearest liter, we have here smaller unit to bigger unit. So, we are going to divide, divide by, by one. So, we are going to move the decimal point from the right side to the left side. How many digits? Three digits. And the answer is 2.345. And now, approximate it to the nearest unit. Where did the unit here? The unit is the whole number is 2. Okay, what is the digit in front of 2? is three three weak numbers or strong number three is a weak number four so we're going to keep two as it is okay put two and cancel all the numbers on in front of two and put zeros and it will be two okay okay another exercise complete Letter A, 64.43 divided 10. We have here divided 10. Okay, move the decimal point right or left. Of course, to the left side. How many digits? One digit only because we have one zero only. It will be 6.443. Okay, again, 537.1 divided 10. Again, the same. Move the decimal point one digit and the answer is 53.71. Another one. 32.57 divided 100. We have here two zeros. Move the decimal point how many places? Two places to the left. And the answer is 0 0.3257. Another exercise. 6.243 divided 100. Okay, move the decimal point. How many digits? Two digits. Right or left? Of course, to the left side because it's a division. Okay, don't forget, please. And the answer is 0 0.06243. Okay, again, 49.21 divided 1000. We have here three zeros, so we are going to move the decimal point how many places? Three places to the left, okay? And the answer is 0 0.04921. Okay, 659.1 divided 1000, divided 1000. Move the decimal point three digits to the left. 
it will be 0 0.6591 okay okay here choose the correct answer letter a 1.7 divided 10 we have here the version move the decimal point one digit to the left and the answer is 0.17 letter b 75.3 divided 100 okay we are going to move the decimal point two digits it will be 0.753 letter c 8.76 divided 1000 move the decimal point how many digits three digits to the left and the answer is 0 0.00876 okay okay complete here we have 3237 grams equals how many kilograms i want to convert from gram to kilogram first ask yourself from bigger unit to smaller unit or from smaller to bigger we have here gram is the smaller unit i want to convert it to a kilogram which is a bigger unit so we are going to to divide divided what divided 1000 then we have to put the decimal point after three digits okay and the answer is 3.237 okay again 325 meters how equals how many kilometers here from smaller unit to bigger unit okay divided what divided 1000 and the answer is 0 0.325 okay the last one we have 54 kilograms equal how many ton how can we do it okay, again kilogram is a smaller unit ton bigger unit we are going to divide divided what divided 1000 okay put cover zeros then move the decimal point three digits to the left and the answer is 0 0.054 now we have finished our new lesson i hope to be well thank you all bye bye